Tony the Witch, written by Bali Thomas and illustrated by Cookie Paul. Winnie the Witch lived in a black house in the forest. The house was black on the outside and black on the inside. The carpets were black, the chairs were black, the bed was black and had black sheets and black blanket. Even the bath was black. Winnie lived in her black house with a cat Wilba. He was black too and that is how the trouble began. When Wilbur sat on a chair with his eyes open, Winnie couldn't see him. She couldn't see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him at all, so she sat on him. When Wilbur sat on the carpet with his eyes open, Winnie couldn't see him. She couldn't see his eyes anyway. But when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep when he couldn't see him at all, so she tripped over him. One day, after nasty fall, when he decided something had to be done, she picked up her magic wand, wavy wands, and ever cadaver. Rebel was black can no longer. He was bright green. Now, when Wilbur slept on the chair when he could see him. When Wilbur slept on the floor when he could see him. And, and she could see him when he slept on the bed. But Wilbur was not allowed to sleep on the bed. So when he put him outside, outside in the grass. When Wilbur sat outside in the grass, when he could see him even when his eyes were wide open. When he came howling outside, tripped over Wilbur, turned the three summer swords and fell into a loud rush. These times, Winnie was furious. She picked her magic wand, wavy five times, and... Ever cadaver. Wilbur had a red head, a yellow body, a pink tail, blue whiskers and four purple legs, but his eyes were still green. Now when he couldn't see Wilbur, when he sat on a chair, when he lay on the carpet, when he clawed into the grass, and even when he climbed to the top of the terrace tree. Wilbur climbed to the top of the terrace tree to hide. He looked ridiculous and he knew it. Even the birds laughed at him. Wilbur was miserable. He stayed at the top of the tree all day and all night. Next morning, Wilbur was still up the tree. When he was worried, she loved Wilbur and hated him to be miserable. Then when he had an idea, she waved her magic wand and ever cadaver wilbur was a black cat once more he came down from the tree pulling then when he waved her wand again and again and again now instead of black house she had a yellow house with a red roof a red door the chair were white with lead and white cushions. The carpet was green with pink rose. The bed was blue with pink and white sheets and pink blankets. The bed was a gleaming white. And now only can see Wilbur no matter where he sits. The End